And here we are again in round two. Woohoo! And we won our die roll again, so yeah, we'll play. And, hmm. This one I don't think we keep. I don't want to no keep No white that. source. No. Unfortunately, there's just nothing going on in that hand. Yeah. It's mm. almost the same hand. It's almost. The I same. guess we keep it. Yeah. Well, if we couldn't keep it at six, I don't see how we keep it at five. But if we go down, are one oh. of the. As I was saying, if we keep it at. <sighs> never mind. Y you want a mulligan? No, I don't. Okay. I'd like to smack you, is what I'd like to do. We've got three lands now. How does magic? Can't magic without lands. We had two. And now we have three. And a creature. Three is better than two. We don't have anything to do at all. Except War Flare. Or cr oh, wait, there's no creatures. There. See? Got there. <laughs> got that there. That was sheer luck. Uh-huh. Got there. And what is that called, Stepford? What it's, would, it's called a plan. No, what would Marshall I call love that? I when a plan comes together. No, no, what together? would Marshall call that? Where's my cigar? <laughs> I love when a plan comes together. Uh-huh. That's results-oriented thinking, Stepford. Up against the Mardu warrior deck. Yeah. Awesome. That's gonna suck. Hey, well, we can kill it. See, and look, we have the three lands we need to kill it. Uh-huh. Look at that. Uh-huh. Sure. That's what I like to call... Providence? Awesome. Sure. Okay. Providence, yes. It was Providence. You're just full of the luck today, you luck sack. Apparently. That's all right. Keep being lucky. Get us some creatures. Oh, I got one. How many more do you need? Of all the creatures in all of the decks and all of the lands, it's a one get three. us the we one get, three. Oh, debilitating. Oh, it's an O oh, one. Gee. Look, oh. we have a creature. It's a minus one one. That's okay. He's going to swing and we're going to kill it. So, blah. But bye, chief. Is that pointy or blunt? No, it's an O2. <laughs> that is pointy. Okay. Even better. Well, just think we can use War Flare <laughs> and, uh... Uh, yeah. I'm just kidding. We're we not can, using War we Flare. We can use Pressure Point, end of his turn. Sure. We could tap our own creature. <laughs> I'm hoping you play something. Sure. And we can swing in with our... Our minus one. 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 Salt emissary. Look, see? That's good. We can tap that down. Mm-hmm. Huh. Interesting. It is interesting indeed. And look, poof, a card. Look, land. Nice. Well, we're not drawing it. Look. To play Ojitai. See, we're, we, we got there. We can war flare. To or something. To take out his 1-1 one, one and replace it with a 2-2? Two, two? <laughs> no, to get in for one damage. Seems good, right? You fired. <laughs> From a cannon? I wish. I wish. Okay, this game is not going well. Gee, Steph, <laughs> really? But I thought this was the plan. Is this not the plan? Do I want to block with no. a terrible creature? Well, no, I'd rather keep that back to block something that might do a lot of damage. Fair enough. I don't want to block that. All right. We only need three more lands, and then we've got a dragon. No, oh, that's good. And he's got a morph. Okay, give us something good now. 
<laughs> That's good. That's it's a morph. It's possible. It's a morph. It is a morph. Look it blocks that. his morph. That's true. It does. It totally does. Mm hmm. The more I see the emissary, the more I like him. Because from this side of the board, it's like, nah, I'd rather take one than block, kill, and have to do with a tutu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, our opponent is Grendel AI, which I think is an awesome name. That's pretty good. Hey, do you want to trade morphs? Uh, I'm going to offer. Uh, he'll probably morph it up and be all he, like, he yo. may. He may have a trick or something. He's going to be all like, Canyon Lurkers, what up? No, there's no point in that. No, that's bad news. That and he gains bad. life. Which sucks, too. Yeah. This is going to be an unfun game. Well, at least it'll be short. And painful. Short and painful. Well, we can block the um, Bonkin this turn. Block the Bonkin and not kill him. Yep. Now, let's all stop for a minute and enjoy the hilarity that is him casting Zergo, the glass cannon, Helm Smasher. Um, I think I'm still going to block the Bonkin. I, Why wouldn't you block Zergo? Because I don't want to make him any bigger. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. This is going to be painful. This takes us to 10. Arg. Well, I guess that's game. I don't know. We're, we're, we're one Step land third. away do, do, do from... The, do the no, math. No, but math works two ways. No. Count how many he's swinging in for. I'm less than lethal because uh. I said so. I think 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 makes you wrong. Uh, it's 12. Makes me almost right. Because math. Maybe it was 13. I guess it was 13. Yeah. Oh, is he a 5'3? Yeah. Oh! Well. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Shall we review the rules of mulliganing? Um, always mulligan. No. It's always better. No. Alright, is there anything we want to do against this? deck. Yes, win. Do we want to bring in a cancel? For what? For Zergo? No. No? How about let's just... How about shifting loyalties? For shiggles? <laughs> let's do um, it. Switch you know it up for Right of Undoing. That's... I like that. That's just funny. <laughs> we never do funny stuff. Let's do that. We could trade him our Sage Eye Harrier. Sure. <laughs> oh, it would have been so good last turn. We could have given him our our uh, broken <laughs> our broken student. <laughs> Does he get the card that comes with it? Um, he keep already that. owns it. Yes, keep this. Awesome. That's hilarious. Here, we'll take him. You take him. He displeases us. Take that, him away. That would have been awesome. And I hilarious. We want to do that. <laughs> we want to steal your Zergo. All right, we're having a much better start. Hey, look, he's fixed. To market, to market, to buy a new Zergo. Mm -hmm. Woohoo. Nice. We get to swing. We get to drop a horde chief. Happy days. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. All right. Yeah. Welcome to our team, guy. We're going on a raid. Raid party. You always bring a friend. That's right. He carries the equipment and the beer. 
I don't know. He looks a little shifty. I don't think we should trust him with the beer. Hmm. The guy in the back, he gets to carry the beer. Yeah, he looks like he could carry quite a bit of beer. Yeah. All right. Okay, so he's got his colors. He should have a play. And that play is... What? Don't know. You're White. supposed to play the guest name. Guest name. Oh. Harold. Harold of Anafenza. <gasps> Harold. Well, that's a an unfun card. Harold. And debilitating no, intro. Stop it. Alright, fair enough. What's his um let's drop Skaltkin and destroy it to kill the Herald? Or we could just Crater's Claws his his Herald. Hmm. Uh, can you highlight him for me? Whenever you outlast, put a 1-1 one, one white warrior creature token onto the battlefield. That could become very unfun very quickly. Yeah, but if he's going to do that next turn, then he's not doing anything else, so I think I'm okay with that. So we've got a couple of turns. So does that mean he's running Harold and Krumar? He is. He is running Harold and Krumar. That's amazing. Um, oh, so good. The flavor kills me. So it's I awesome. So I kind of want to drop the Alabaster Cure in. All right, do it. After swinging for one. For one? Yeah. All right, do it. Because I don't think he's going to block this. Possibly not. Let's get our flyers down so we can start eating his face before he develops a an army of warriors. I hear those warrior guys can get pretty salty. Yep. Hey, look aboard. They can go nuts. <laughs> Is that because they're salty? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Nah. Nah. You're hilarious. <laughs> Smarty pants. What? Marty charm. Oh, uh, okay. Sure. You had to say A. I did. No. Why, why wouldn't you say huh? I never say that word. I always say huh. I say huh. I say A. Eh? What are you? Do you think you're a Canadian or something? I am a Canadian. I know, but you're not supposed to talk like a stereotypical one. What are you doing? Well, why not? Because next they're going to think we're sleeping in igloos. I sleep Shh, in a bed. In the igloo. I know. Chush. Hush. Don't forget to let all the sled dogs out later. <laughs> You mean the sled cats? <laughs> totally the sled cats. All right. Do we want to drop a Sage Eye Harrier? Just, like, flat out drop it. Why? Because it'll block forever? All right, sure. I'm going to go speak to that... Um, to that sled cat? That sled cat. All right. Debilitating entry as not removal is annoying. <laughs> Harold and Krumar are now on the field. Yup. Alright then. Oh, interesting. I 
think I'm going to drop this flyer. And it's annoying that that is three and not two. I imagine he's going to outlast here. with that, get it off the field, save me from taking some damage. Oh no! Sorcery! Discard Crater's Claws! You monster! not in a good position here. Well, he seems to have a pretty good deck. Although it's a little slow for a warrior deck. <laughs> Got past a lot of goodies for some reason. Well, interesting. I think I'm going to, yeah, if I Singing Bell Strike um, the Herald, then he's not going to be able to use its Outlast ability. And the Krumar, I'll just have to continue to chump. No block, so he's coming back for three. And I am unfortunately top decking. It's not a good place to be. I think they should have made the text box on Scarab Baron's white. It's visually, it looks very black, it looks very close to a swamp, and it's hard to remember that that's a white source. Um, so I think that was a mistake. But, uh, interesting. Leaving the Krumar back, then I'm just going to take three. Yeah. Ooh. That could be helpful. Looks like it. All right, I'm going to swing in the air. And 
drop this. So I'm getting in for three, he's getting in for three. So we're winning that race. I don't know why he's not swinging with the five three. I don't know. <clears throat> and if he happens to drop Zergo, we can shock him to death. Oh, beauty. So he's probably not going to drop Zergo until... I decided to sing Bell Strike the Herald rather than the Krumar because it keeps him from being able to outlast as quickly. Sure, that sounds good. Chief of the Scale. Yikes. That makes things a little more difficult. Chump block the Krumar, take three. If he doesn't um, drop Zergo here, I think I'm still... No, well, maybe I'm not. Can we flip up our morph this turn? It's, it's the uh, spell snatcher. So That's what I mean. Do we have enough? Next turn. On his turn is what I mean. Yeah. Harsh sustenance. Oh, he's gonna kill her. Well, there goes that plan. Dang warriors. Yeah. That's what we get for hiring, you know, random the students and the harriers, and he gets a full fledged army. Well, that's something. It gets what you pay for. I guess so. actually surprised that he um, took out the morph and not the Skaldkin. He might not realize that Skaldkin can kill Zergo. It's possible, or he doesn't think he needs to worry about it because yeah, he's the... getting a warrior army. When did he drop the Ghost Flyer Blade? Oh. Just now. Ugh. That's gross. I'm jumping him with the student. Yep. Eek. We're just falling to the might of the warriors. Interesting. Alright. Jump that. And... I should probably block one of those. Sure. Cool. War flare would be really nice. It would be really nice. I don't think I need to drop that, because if we get Ojitai, then I can just drop that, so I'm going to keep it back. Um... I guess get in for five, leave the Harrier back to block, to jump. I guess so, yeah.
<clears throat> He's playing a very conservative game. Jump the bondkin. Rage for me. Eh? Oh boy. Nope, draw nothing but land. Get in for five. He swings back for four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, can we keep them both back and... Uh, if we keep them both back, he... Does he still have lethal? Has super lethal. All right, then. Well, sometimes you just get overrun by those warriors. We've had kind of yucky land situations, so... Yeah, this was... We mulled to four in the first game. Yeah. Um, and then this, so. It happens. On the upside, we have another round. Yep. So this one's not over, but it's quickly getting there. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Are you going to just swing with all? I would. Of course, you might think we have a trick. A war flare would have been delightful. <laughs> Seven. Hey, draft cat, where were you? You could have helped. Kill him. So we lose, lose both of our creatures. Go to four. Lose. Um. Yeah, we don't have anything to wipe or anything like that, so... Block. Block. Alright. Block. Block. Sack this. To take out that. Take two, still have a creature. Even better. That seems not bad. Well, I mean, it still seems bad, but. If we top deck Crater's Claws. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, he made us discard Crater's Claws. <sighs> well. Yeah. So, there's basically nothing we can top deck that's gonna win us the game. No. There are a couple of things that would keep us in the game. Um. Bring low. Does that help? Three damage or five damage? It would do five damage to this. He would swing in one, two, three chump here. We'd still be in it. Three. Sure. We'd still be in it. Let's do that. Or we could block here and bring low to take that out, but then he'd still have the ghost fire blade. Yeah, I'm just bringing low this now. Still in it. We're in it to win it. 
but her, uh... <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get to game three. He uh, he may have a trumpet blast in hand. He may. Or, you know, top deck a trumpet blast. <laughs> Goofy again. So now, even if we uh, get one piece of removal, we die. Yeah. Ugh, that's frustrating. Yeah. It's moving the ghost fire blade. Oh, huh, that killed us. Weird. Okay. No. Alright. Concede. Well, that's a frustrating match, but um, we still have another round. We still have another round, so we'll see you in round three. Ba -da -ba -ba.